Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about 2022 Giant Defy Advanced Pro 2 Ultegra road bike. As you see, it's a classical giant with their mouthful of uh, bike names, but make no mistake, it's a very interesting uh, bike from Giant for the 2022 season. We need to kick off with the retail price of this bike, which is 3,500 British pounds, which definitely is not a cheap price, but I still believe it's going to be a very, very interesting uh, value for money from Giant, as they usually do. Also, uh, we have to answer the question, who is this uh, bike for? So you see, Giant Defy platform is all about uh, endurance road bike, so a little bit more relaxed geometry, and if you are spending long days in the saddle, then definitely you should consider Giant Defy platform. It's an absolute legend when it comes to endurance road bikes, and definitely Giant Defy platform is an excellent endurance road bike platform. When it comes to the paint scheme on this bike, uh, unfortunately there's only one paint scheme on offer. This is this very classical metallic black, carbon black I think they call it, which is a decent nice paint scheme, but I wish that the Giant would offer at least another paint scheme, since we are talking about the retail price of 3500 British pounds. So it is what it is. Maybe on certain markets they would offer another paint scheme, so it will definitely depend where are you based. So now let's dive into the specifications of this bike and let's really see what will you get for your hard earned money. So first thing first, uh, frame and the fork on this bike. So this is a carbon fiber frame and also a carbon fiber fork. So this is a Giant's advanced grade composite carbon fiber and with the fork you also have a full composite steerer with the Giant's overdrive 2 system. So when it comes to the frame and the fork, uh, carbon fiber pieces from Giant, absolutely superb, no complaints here. And also keep in mind that you are getting a lifetime warranty on carbon fiber frames and forks from Giant. So definitely top-notch product in the uh, department of frames and the forks from Giant. When it comes to the handlebar and the stem, we have a Giant's Contact SLD Fuse handlebar. So this is an aluminium handlebar from Giant. And also the stem is the Giant Contact SL, another aluminium piece uh, from Giant. Totally fine that these pieces are aluminium. I have no complaints here. And also what's uh, very good is that these pieces are separate pieces. So you see, <coughs> nothing is proprietary here when it comes to handlebar and the stem. And also it's going to be very easy to replace them in the future <coughs> if you really have to. And keep in mind that if you want to set up your position on the bike very nicely, it's super easy because again, handlebar and the stem separate pieces, so easy to set up. So in a summary, handlebar stem, absolutely no complaints here. And aluminium pieces totally fine. Seat post, Giant has used the, their Diffuse SL carbon fiber seat post, which is absolutely great. It's a necessary thing to have a carbon fiber seat post, especially because it's going to soak up so much of the smaller road bumps. Saddle on the bike is the Giant's own production, which is Fleet SL. In my opinion, Giant uh, lately produces very good saddles, so there's a big probability you will like this saddle. If you don't like it, it's easy to replace because saddles are always just a personal preference. Now let's talk about the group set on this bike. So Shifter's uh, front mech is Shimano's Ultegra mechanical group set. So this is the 11 speed Shimano's Ultegra mechanical group set. Absolutely superb mechanical group set, no complaints here. And a little interesting uh, quirk out of this bike is the rear mech, which is the Shimano GRX. So GRX is the gravel component. Uh, make no mistake, it's on the same levels as Shimano Zultegra, and uh, I'm guessing one of the reasons why they use this rear mech Shimano GRX is that they can fit a 34 tooth cassette, which again is absolutely fine. So there's no complaints from me about this rear mech, because again, it's on the same levels as Shimano Ultegra mechanical group set, 11 speed group set. So all in all, group set top notch, no complaints. Let's talk about the braking system on the bike. So this is again a superb. Shimano Zultegra hydraulic disc brakes. 160 mm rotors at the front and unfortunately 140 mm braking rotor at the back. 
I really don't understand why Giant has put this 140mm rotor at the back, because ultimately what you want is a great heat dissipation and also good braking power. So 160mm rotor is always going to be better than 140, so I would definitely suggest to you in the future, once when you destroy this braking rotor at the back, just buy yourself Shimano Zultegra 160mm braking rotor. Also, as it is now, you are getting a Shimano Zultegra braking rotors, which are the RT800, with, you know, ice tech, ice freezer technology, so superb braking rotors. The only thing is the size of this rear braking rotor, which is only 140mm. So, you know, you can get it sorted uh, as soon as possible, once when you destroy this one. Speaking about the cassette on this bike, it's a Shimano Zultegra 11-speed cassette, and it is 1134 cassette, paired with the KMC X11 SL chain. It's a superb uh, chain from KMC, uh, no problem with that. And also the crankset on the bike is the Shimano Zultegra 3450 uh, crankset. So you see, 3450 chain rings paired with uh, 1134 cassette, you definitely have a huge range of gears on this bike and you will definitely be able to climb any steep mountains and of course spend uh, long days in the saddle. I uh, forgot to mention uh, that the bottom bracket on the bike is a Shimano Express Fit bottom bracket, <coughs> which is absolutely superb, I'm not expecting any creaking noises here. Now let's talk about one of the secret sources of this bike, and this is definitely the wheel set. So you are getting a superb uh, Giant SLR2 wheel set. So this uh, Giant SLR2 wheel set is a carbon fiber wheel set from Giant. If you would buy it on the open market, the front wheel would be 480 US dollars, and the rear one would be 565 US dollars. So the main highlights of this uh, wheel set is, as I said, carbon fiber wheel set. It has a giant hookless technology, of course it's tubeless ready, 36mm rim height and the inner rim width is 22.4mm. It comes with the giant own hubs, front and rear, and especially the rear hub is the three pole system, and both hubs are of course with the sealed cartridge bearings. I have to mention here that it's a 12mm through axles uh, front and the back, with SAPIM spokes, absolutely superb, 24 spokes uh, front and the back, and the total weight of this wheel set is 1535 grams, which is very light in my opinion, and also on this carbon wheel set you get a uh, two years warranty, so all in all, superb carbon fiber wheel set from Giant, definitely no problems. So these wheels are also wrapped in giant Gavia Fondo One tire. This is a tubeless tire, ready out of the box, 32mm tire, great stuff, although giant is saying it's effectively 33.5mm in width, and definitely I would suggest you in the future, if you are replacing a tire, keep the 32mm tire from any other brand, because you will just get uh, so much air volume and really a smooth, smooth ride. Of course, this bike uh, comes with a standard Giant's um, Ride Sense uh, Bluetooth sensor, which, you know, you can pair with any onboard computer, track your distance, uh, speed, uh, and all other parameters. Uh, Giant didn't say here what's the weight of this bicycle, but I would expect in some kind of size large to be closer to 8.5 kilograms, so it's a very decent weight for an um, endurance road bike. And definitely don't expect these machines to be super light. So all in all, uh, what is my advice to you? Should you just go ahead and buy this bike, or should you just consider it? I have to mention that definitely a highlight of this bike is the carbon fiber wheel set from Giant, so Giant SLR2 carbon fiber wheel set, and I would definitely mention this uh, mechanical Shimano Ultegra uh, group set, which is absolutely superb. So, my advice would definitely be just go ahead and buy this bike, considering the retail price of 3,500 British pounds, I just think it's an excellent offering from Giant as an endurance uh, road bike. So I think this is going to be it for today, I hope you like what I'm doing, if you do, keep on watching, give a like to this video, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!